Field of 10, three-year-olds are lined up for the fourth race Superfecta, first division of the Oliver Wendell Holmes. Here they come. And they're off. Doc Finall takes them out of there under whip taps. Uh, aces and sevens. Cinnamon plays towards the inside into the first turn. And it looks like Howard Parker and Doc Finall are going to lead the way early here. But uh, right behind him is uh, David Miller with aces and sevens up into second. Cinnamon Place settles in the third spot. Cam Ocean got away fourth. Riverboat King is fifth. That's Campbell with the fire pan going up sixth on the outside. Dreamwork is seventh. Then it's High on Emotion eighth, followed by Withheld ninth on the outside. Arc Place is tenth. They're too wide to pass the quarter. And it's Miller with aces and sevens, 26 and four. Aces and sevens showing his speed today. On the outside, here comes Cam Ocean. Randy Waples with Cam Ocean will take charge now. Riverboat King's on the move up on the outside to challenge. Aces and sevens now back in third, and uh, Doc Finall wrestled back in the fourth spot as they hit past the half. Cinnamon Place is fifth. Still parked out. The Fire Pan trying to gain some ground in sixth. High on Emotion is seventh. Dreamwork is eighth on the outside. Then it's Arc Place and withheld. Over the half mile, they lock up there. Marcus Model with Riverboat King all out to clear the top here. The half 54, and they battle on the far turn. It's Riverboat King by three quarters of a length. Cam Motion is battling back on the inside. Right there is Doc Finall as they head to three quarters. A real war going on there. Aces and sevens begins the gap now, and here comes the fire pen. He's had a tough trip. Gapping towards the rail is Cinnamon Place. They're at three quarters. Cam Motion prevails at that marker in 122, and they turn home. And it's Cam Motion who's the one to knock off here. Up on the outside, still driving is Riverboat King. Towards the inside comes Cinnamon Place, along with Aces and Sevens is battling between horses up on the far outside. Dreamwork! And Mike Lachance to swoop them all. But Cinnamon Place on the inside is there with Aces and Sevens. Dreamwork on the outside. Dreamwork! It might have been Dreamwork and Mike Lachance in a photo there with Cinnamon Place. One fifty and two fifths. One two in the Oliver Wendell Holmes. Dreamwork at thirty seven to one. Cinnamon Place at forty four to one. Dreamwork, a three-year-old bay colt by Arts Place out of In Your Dreams by Big Towner. Owned by the Bob McIntosh Stables, Cape Mitchell Stables, and M. Kohler of Ontario. Trainer Bob McIntosh and driver Mike Lachance. First win of 2004, Dreamwork. Equaling the stakes record of 150 and 2. Equals the stakes record, co-held by Magical Mike, Cam's Catch, and Arizona Jack. Mike Lachance with some great victories here in the Holmes in the past. Western Dreamer, Cam's Catch, and Goalie Jeff back in 89 wins it here with Dreamwork at 37 to 1, paying $77, 40, 20, and 12, 80. One Cinnamon Place, 40, 60, and 11 dollars. And nine Aces and Sevens pays 340. The 4-1 exact $704.40. Trifecta 419, $6,326. The pick three, three of three, one thousand two hundred twenty dollars forty cents. The superfecta four one nine all. Once again, it was a four one nine all. For the superfecta, the payoff was eight thousand fifty seven dollars uh, forty cents. Uh, pace his best race of the year. Finished fourth his last start. He says it's just a little lazy. He says, wake him up, and uh, if he gets good fraction there, he'll uh, he'll pace right to the wire, and he did. Okay, we're going to take a look at the deep stretch coming up. Uh, now, there were some pretty, pretty big fractions here. The last quarter was the slowest in the race here. Yet you in the far, far outside here on the screen here. Tell us what's going on here. Well, uh, I knew that they were starting to come back to me, and uh, my horse was still pacing. Uh, not that I can't say that he was uh, very strong, but he was stronger than uh, most of the others. So, And he just kept uh, picking up horses in the stretch, and uh, I had a good feeling. Did you think you had a one on the wire? Luke was 44 to 1. He was on the inside there. You were really far apart. Yeah, I, I thought I had him beat there. But, you know, sometimes, like, a uh, daytime, it's, uh, it could fool you. But uh, I thought I had him beat. Okay, color me best coming up next race. He's had some tough competition recently, hasn't he? Yes, and uh, it's a drop in class for him today. And uh, I hope he is better than he did his last start because he's going to need it. Okay, Michael Chance, good luck the rest of the day, especially in the Hamiltonian, as we get ready for race number five.